hello guys how you guys doing my name is sarah you're welcome to another video i drop a link below on how to draft and cut a pencil skirt on today's video we'll be sewing this beautiful skirt before we go into today's business i would love to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button so now let's get into it I've, I'm done with the cutting of the fabric and the lining. You can see how beautiful it looks. This is the front block. You can see I launched my darts space. The space for my darts. This is my darts. So you can tell me where my darts starts from. This is it. Now, we're done with this. This is the band this is the back band you can see i cut four pieces of this for the back the band and the lining why this is the front band i folded it on fold you can see how it looks this is it then this is the back block this is the back block i added st so the back for, because of the vents so it's it gives it this beautiful look when we are done i don't know when you add fabric i'm sorry when you add st to your fabrics after sewing it it looks very beautiful and i added st on the lining and on the fabric you can see i use pieces of st for this because now st is expensive in my area they sell 1000 i don't know how much they sell in your own area so this is it you can look out you can see how beautiful it looks the link is below on how to draft and cut this beautiful skirt so click on the link please so now this is it let's go to the sewing machine to sew our that so guys, now we are in the sewing machine. Let's sew our dart first. We'll be sewing the darts for the back. And let me show you guys. You come in by half inches like this. And you sew it to this mark. Then you sew the other one too. inches to the same mark we stop on the die six then you mark it like this and you bring it out like this and you just say this way, you tie this way. Let me do for the front, for the back. Let me do for the front. I'm sorry to say, let me do for the front and show you guys what it looks like. I'm done with the sewing of the darts. Now we had to join our bands together. Before joining the bands, you can see when sewing, always eye on you. Always press your fabric. I've done, I'm done with the sewing and I've pressed my fabric. Now you can see I'm using my pins to hold it down. You, you can see I launched this place. I don't know if you're seeing it. So now I'll hold it down like this before sewing. We'll be sewing this, we'll be sewing it like this for the front and the back pattern with the lining too. So now let me sew it and show you guys how it's how it's looking. 
also on half inch seam allowance half inch you remember when we are adding allowance to this we add half inches to the waist so now we'll be using that half inches now in holding the band half inches When you are sewing, be removing your pin so it will not break your needle. You can see how beautiful it is. We'll go and iron this. I'll iron this and show you guys how it looks. On this join, you can see I've launched this place. So we're joining it like this. Now, this is the back pattern. We're joining the back pattern to on half inches also. So you know it's half inches we added to it. So you no, know, we saw on a loose stitch because of the zip allowance. Loose stitch means half inches. Sewing it, that's how you sew it, of inches. back vent so you just sew from this line to this half inches mark here i hope you can see it to this half inches mark here and stop you do the same thing too for the lining you do the same thing for the lining so guys i'm done with the joining of the lining to the fabric and on I drop a link below on how to sew a perfect back vent. So here now, you can see how it looks. Please click on the link so you know how we do this back vent. So now guys, let's go to the front. Now guys, this is the front fabric. We're joining the lining and the fabric together on half inches. So guys, I'm done joining this. We iron the the fabric and I will come back and show you guys yes, now we have to press this down so it will lay flat so guys now we have to join the waist together on half inch like this so now let me join it and show you guys okay I'm done sewing this you can see I've turned it to the front now we have to press this so it will lay flat so let me go and press it after ironing this you can see how flat it looks this is the back of the fabric you can see the front so how flat is laying down so now we bring the back pattern okay guys you can see i'm done with the front now let's fix the back zip to fix the back zip we'll be fixing it like this the front of the zip facing the front of the fabric and i'll be sewing it from this edge like this so guys let me fix it and show you guys guys i'm done with this side you can see how it looks now we we'll do the other side also okay guys you can see i'm done with the fixing of the zip you can see how beautiful it looks now we'll turn to this to the back to the wrong side of the fabric and now we have to turn this with our lining we're turning this like this we're turning the lining and the fabric 
Now this is how it looks. We turn it like this. We sewing the lining and the fabric on half inches. The zip will be at the middle. So let me sew it and show you guys. I'm done with this. With the first side. Now let's do the other side also. The same way we sew this place. So we're sewing it like this too. The front of the lining facing the front of the fabric. The zip will be in the middle. Guys, I'm done with the fixing of the zip. Now we have to turn the lining. We have to turn the lining here. Like this. We'll be sewing on half inch straight down. So now let me sew it down, show you guys. You can see how it is. We will sew the other side also. We'll be sewing here also on half inch. I'm sewing this but before we trim this out let's check if it's equal at the edge okay guys you can see it's equal now we have to open it and cut it out so we are done fixing the zip and you can see how neat it is now we have to join the front and back together on one inch if you can remember we added 1.5 inch, but let's use that half inch for ease. So now we'll be joining this by one inches. Let me mark it and show you guys how to do, go about it. So I have marked the fabric. We'll be joining the fabric to the fabric and the lining to lining because we want a neat finishing. We will conceal the joining inside. So guys, done with the joining. Now we we'll go to the. Now we we'll go to the ironing table to open this. Press this open like this, so it will lay flat on the front, and I will show you guys how it looks. So you can see how neat it looks. The sewing is concealed inside. Now we have to join the other side also. But before you join that, you will make sure you launch this place, the edge like this. So when turning it, it will be easy to know where it's, where the joining of the fabric to fabric stop here, yeah, stop. So like this, you join fabric to fabric again from the waist you join from the waist like this one inches remember it's one inches here we used we still make use of the same one inches here also so we have to leave like three inches mark from here so yeah, this is our three inches mark. So we can use to turn the fabric in and out. So the sewing we sew will not be showing. Our joining will not be showing here. Yeah. We leave this three inches mark and adjust it like this. Continue with one inches. And turn it. I'm done now we have to turn this in and out from this space we left so we're turning it from there and I advise you leave more than TV because it's tiny in you can see how neat it looks let me give this a good press and show you guys the finishing you can see where we used to turn 
our fabric in and out now we have to seal this place back see how it it looks now after joining it together so now let's turn this to the front guys you can see how it looks this is the front and let me show you guys the back you can see how the inside looks very very neat so guys thank you and thank you guys for watching i will be seeing you guys on my next video god bless you